Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm gonna explain how to convert text to numbers when the negative sign is at the end of the number. So this question came up from Gavin uh, based on another video I did about uh, changing the signs between positive and negative on numbers. But in Gavin's case, he has an export here from an SAP system where the negative sign is at the end of the number, something like this here. And he wants to know how to convert this to a number because currently this is stored as text in Excel and we can't do any calculations on it or anything like that. So one thing we can do here is use the find and replace menu to convert these all at one time. So I'm first going to show this example and then I'll also show another example where we have a mix between positive and negative numbers. So if we had all negative numbers like this case here, we can use find and replace. So we could just first select all the cells here or the, all the columns that contain these numbers and then open the find and replace menu by going to the home tab and then find and select and replace and keyboard shortcut there is control H. So we'll open the find and replace menu and all we're going to do in this menu here uh, is change the find what to that dash character, that negative symbol. So we're going to put that dash character right there. We already have it there. And then we're going to replace with blank. So we're going to replace with nothing. Uh, we don't need to replace it with anything. We're just That'll just remove that character from the end. So And then we'll just hit replace all. And as you can see, that's made uh, 33 replacements here. And we'll close the find and replace menu. And so now these have all been converted to numbers. And now we can use that same approach uh, with the negative one. So we'll put a negative one here and use the paste multiply operation. Uh, so we'll just copy this cell, control C or right click copy, select all these cells here, and then we'll do right click, paste special, alt ES, and choose multiply and then hit OK, and that will convert those all to negative numbers. And I have a whole other video on that as well that explains that process in more detail. So now let's take a look at this example with the mixed numbers, because in this case here, we have some negatives here that are stored as text, and then we also have positive numbers that have already been converted to numbers in Excel, like this one here. So we have a mix here, and we only want to convert these uh, negatives and retain those as negative numbers. So in this case here, we're going to do the same basic process, but we're going to use the go to special menu. So I'm first going to type a negative one in this cell right here, and we're going to copy it, control C or right click copy. So we have that copied to the clipboard. And now we want to do our find and replace, but we only want to do it on the cells here that have that negative at the end that are stored as text. So for this, we can use the uh, go to special menu and again, home tab, find and select and we'll choose go to special and that'll open the go to special menu here and we're going to search for constants uh, and we only want to search for text so these check boxes down here do apply to the constants radio box up here and we're going to choose text and this is going to select the cells that contain text only so i'll click ok and now we can see that we've uh, only selected those cells with the text with the negative at the end and so we're first going to do the find and replace so again home tab find and select and we'll choose replace or control h on the keyboard and we already have our negative value here replace with blank or nothing and then hit replace all and so we've made 19 replacements and we'll hit OK and we'll close. And so now that's made the uh, conversion to a number, but we want to make these uh, negative numbers because they're currently positive and we do not want to keep those as positive numbers. So again, I already have that negative one copied to the clipboard. It's already been copied here, so we don't need to select it. We don't want to change our selection and uh, select it again. We've already copied it. So that's the very first step. So don't forget to do that. And now all we need to do is right click any of these cells, paste special. And uh, since we already have all the cells selected, we're going to choose multiply and then hit OK. And that will convert all of those selected cells back to negatives. So there's uh, the workaround for that. There's definitely a few steps there, uh, but Gavin was having to go through each of these columns and do a text to columns conversion uh, on each column. So that process was taking quite a bit of time when you have a lot of columns of data 
uh, in your sheet. So there's another way to go about it where you can select all the cells at one time and use that find and replace to convert the number stored as text into numbers. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.